So many people have asked me why I am so obsessed with the saints. I think that it means even more than ever because of Luke. There's a comfort in Sundays for a father, a son, and their saints. I think everyone is inspired by Luke's story. I think Luke is a bit of a good luck charm for us, too. Welcome to the home of our football champions, and New Orleans. And we love the Saints, and we watch the video of the Saints. And what do we say? Who does the Saints? I have been a Saints fan all my life, and my little boy was the same way. Our deal was we're going to the Superdome every year for the rest of our lives. We like the Saints. Luke Siegel inherited more than fandom from his father, Tim, a former professional tennis player and coach at Texas Tech. And Luke was as determined and competitive as dad, especially in baseball. He loved to practice as much as he loved to play. And how many seven, eight-year-olds are like that? His goal was to be the best second baseman in the world. Not wanting to miss those moments, in July 2015, after 23 years at Texas Tech, Tim left to spend more time with nine-year-old Luke and his three older daughters. <laughs> 20 days after resigning, life changed forever. EMS, what's the address of your emergency? Yes, um, it's on 106th and Salem in the cul-de-sac. Some kids were doing donuts in a golf cart, and it, uh, it flipped over on him, and he's, he's bleeding really, really bad. Luke had been riding in a modified golf cart with a friend when the vehicle flipped over, landing on it. Before his parents could get there, Luke was rushed to the hospital. I remember just talking to God and begging him that everything was okay. One ICU doctor told me, just pray he wakes up. Luke had gone into cardiac arrest, depriving his brain of oxygen for more than seven minutes. We were told Luke will never use his limbs. He will never use his voice. He should never open his eyes. Through a family friend, word of Luke's accident reached the saints. As Tim sat with Luke in intensive care, he received a message on his phone. Hey Luke, this is Drew Brees, quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. Just wanted to uh, say I'm thinking about you, buddy. Uh, keep fighting. Um, I'm hoping and praying for full recovery and uh, can't wait to see you um, at a Saints game in the stands. Look forward to seeing you soon. I'm praying for you. Five years later, it's a different life. You know, our days uh, consist of giving Luke medications three times a day, stretching him, taking him to physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy. Since the accident, Tim and Luke have visited Breeze and the Saints. Luke! What's up, buddy? You look great, man. Breeze has gone to Lubbock to visit Luke at home. Luke, hey, Luke. Hey, buddy. Came to Lubbock to see you. And each season, Tim and Luke have kept the promise they made to each other before the accident. Hey, you ready to see the Saints today? You ready to watch the Saints? Huh? Let's do it, buddy. Luke and I made a pact. Every year, we were gonna go watch the Saints play. We went to seven or eight games in the, in the last five years. You touched on this. I know he's in there. What do you mean? Early on, we were told that there would be no Luke other than body 
that he was not going to be able to respond. Recently, I said, Luke, the Saints are playing. Do you think we're going to win? Move your tongue. I tried to move his tongue. I could have, I could have lifted a, a car at that time. I couldn't believe what was really happening. I can see a father's love for his son when I see Tim and Luke. It's the way that you know I look at my kids every time you know I see them or think about them. We as a team love having them around because um, they represent you know all the right things. For all that's changed, Sundays are the same. For a father, a son, and their saints. There's not a therapist or a doctor that's worked with Luke in the last five years that doesn't understand the importance of the New Orleans Saints. Not only that, Drew Brees, Luke's hero, I believe, has helped Luke improve. Is Drew Brees your hero? Drew Brees is your hero, isn't he? Yes, I know. I see that tongue moving, because you know he is. Huh? He's your hero. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.